Welcome back to another great episode of Stove Top Yum Yum. And I'm here with my sidekick. Carlito here. Yes, he is. Hey, Mom, what's cooking? Well, today, guys, we're making another twist. Today, we are making, you guys know the delicious baked potato skins that we usually get that are kind of uh, almost all the meat of the potatoes out, and they add bacon and cheese and sour cream. Yum Yum. You ever had those? The potato skins? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That. Okay, so the twist today, guys, is we're going to make it with sweet potato. I can't wait. We have sweet potato, crumbled bacon that I fried in my pan, cheese, and sour cream. That's it. It is actually a four ingredient recipe. Very simple. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make it in the air fryer. The first thing I did was I grabbed my sweet potatoes. I did put them in the oven for about 45 minutes at 400 degrees. And keep in mind, the skin of the sweet potato is a lot more delicate than of an Idaho potato. So you can, when you're scooping the meat out of it, we're going to grab a little bowl over here. Thank you, buddy. Not all of it, guys, but do it with tender love and care because that skin will rip right off, guys. Okay, so we're going to leave a little bit in there. Looks pretty. Looks nice, huh? Mm -hmm. So there's one, see? Still left some. Can't leave it so hollow because you want to try this one, Carlito? Yeah. Okay, you have to be very, very uh, here you go. cautious. No, yeah, very, very delicate. It's a little sticky. Not, Don't go so deep. Not too deep, honey. Okay. Okay, okay guys, so we're going to keep peeling these. Remember, not too deep. Be careful, not too deep, Carlito. And when we come back, guys, they're all going to be peeled. I'm going to load them. These are loaded sweet potato skins. Be careful there. And you guys, you don't want to miss this. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Me and Carlito have taken the meat. Remember, the meat out of the sweet potato. What I do is I put it in a Ziploc, and you can make a casserole with brown sugar, cinnamon. Very simple, you know, if you want to use some pecans, however you like. Now, keep in mind, these are not as pretty as the Idaho because, like I said, the skins are very delicate, Carlito. Let me show you what it looks like. See, it's very, very delicate. Okay, so now what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to... Let me show you here. Okay, we got the air fryer right here. I sprayed it. Make sure you spray it. Don't forget to spray it. And what we are going to do is... We are going to toast these up for about three minutes, probably. Mm -hmm. Once we toast them up, guys, in two batches... Right in here, we're going to add the bacon, and we're going to add the cheese. This is very, yes, this is very, very different. This is very different to the norm, so let's put them in here at 330, to, no preheat. To me, everything sticks, and when you preheat, everything burns, so that's just me, Carlito. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm going to put it here at 330 degrees. Wait a minute. Time. 330 degrees for four minutes. Let's do four. It's just so we can like crunch them up a little bit, make them a little sturdier. Okay, guys? So now Carlito is going to put these over here, those two. Let's put that over there, Carlito, so we can put it in the Ziploc later. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Carlito, you want to you wanna help me chop up this bacon? Yes, ma'am. Guys, so I'm chopping up the bacon, guys. Thanks, Carlito. You're welcome. You're welcome, honey. All right, guys, so we're going to chop the bacon up. Can you chop it up really small, Carlito? Yes. All right. Watch your hands with a knife. Remember, I've taught you how to use a knife, so be careful. He's cutting it with a knife. Yeah, take your time, Carlito. Cut it small and take your time. 
So guys, when we come back, our bacon will be chopped, coarsely chopped, not very tiny. And our cheese and our skins will be a little bit sturdier. We'll add that in there when we come back and we'll pop it in for another three minutes. And you guys, you don't want to miss this yummy snack. We will be right back. Don't do that. Whipped cream. With sour cream, Carlito. Oh. Hey guys, we're back. Oh yeah, yeah, you teenagers. <laughs> we're back and it's not that the air fryer is confusing, Carlito, but I said three minutes at 3.30, I was wrong. That was a previous video that I did on something else, and I do apologize for that, you guys. It was 400 degrees for seven minutes. The reason being is because my normal skins with Idaho's that we make, I do it for less time because it's a sturdier skin, so we wanted to sturdy these up a little bit. Let me show you. Now we're going to add all our goodies in here. You see that? See, they're a little bit sturdier. They're still soft, but they're sturdier. So now, Carlito, I want you to add some bacon to each one. We have two left over here, guys, that we need to crisp up. But that's okay. Me and Carlito will do those later. Right, Carlito? All right, let's grab some bacon for five minutes. Hang on. Get a little cheese. Here we go. I'll put it on this one. A little or a lot, whatever you like. Okay, me and Carlito look like an octopus without hands. He says, the air fryer is hot, guys. Be careful. Watch your, watch your you can't arm. touch the sides. No, they're very hot. Mm -mm. Alright, so we it. try to keep them a little bit away from, try to keep the skins a little bit away from each other. Hang on. You can also make these like little appetizer bites and you can cut these in half and make little mini skins. That's a good idea, so let's, let's do that. Alright, so we are going to put our air fryer on. Preheat off 400 degrees for, no for six minutes let's do six okay let's do six mm -hmm. and guys and guys that is it when they come out i'm gonna you let them rest for about five minutes in the air fryer then we take them out we will put them on a plate we'll put a little dollop of sour cream on it and we'll taste and guys another great idea that is so yummy and easy to make mm -mm -mm. you don't want to miss this you guys we will be right back Hey guys, we're back and we are ready. They look so beautiful. And oh, I just wanted to mention, as you can see behind me, Carlito helped me with the dishes. He's such a helpful young man, such a good boy. Look at those skins. Mm. Look at these skins. Delicious. Check this out, guys. With sweet potato. Delicious thick cut bacon. We actually chopped it coarsely. It's not very finely chopped. To give it that texture, like if it's bottled bacon, it's fresh. There's chunks of bacon. So, Carlito, let's get a little thing here. All right, Carlito, so why don't you grab that well, yeah, small one. I always, guys, let me get a knife, Carlito, and cut a little piece. Well, yeah. I always, guys, I always spread the sour cream with a fork or something whenever you go to the restaurant, right? And they give it to you, you always spread it. Oops, I got a little bit of sour cream on my hand. That's all right. It's all part of the job. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, can I have a napkin? Oh. Let me have a napkin. Let me put a little sour cream on this. Thank you. Look at that, guys. I got sour cream. Oh well, can I say? I'm going to. So, plating is the same thing. It's very simple. Nothing fancy. Just put them on a plate. It's great for game time and great for a snack by the pool. Yeah. So, we're going to ready to taste the sweet and the salty. The sweetness of the sweet potato. And the saltiness of the cheese and the bacon. Cheers. Cheers. Hot, hot, hot. Mm. You put it all in your mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's sweet and salty. Oh my god, that's so delicious. Okay, you know? Mmm. Mmm. And that cheese. Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Mm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to double dip today. Mm -mm. Guys, remember guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to comment. And if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. If not, Make sure to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> and don't forget the bell so you don't miss any episode, guys. Mm -hmm. 
as I always say in all my videos, my two main ingredients is passion and love. Right. I don't care what you look like. I don't care what your kitchen looks like. I don't care what you're making. If you incorporate passion and love in your recipe, your recipe will not fail. I promise you that your recipe will not fail. And you guys, don't forget to go get the merch. Our store is on our website below on www.stovetopyumyum.com. Got some beautiful shirts, some beautiful aprons, as you can see. Me and Carlito are wearing two of the colors, two different colors of the aprons. So go check it out now, and don't forget promo code Stovetop will give you ten percent off, save you ten percent off your entire order, guys. Get it now. I mean, it's moving fast, you guys, and I can't wait to see you there. And you guys, as we always say, au revoir. Au revoir. I, love I love you. you. Los, Los quiero. quiero. Until the next great episode of Stovetop Yum Yum, we will be back, and we will see you guys then. Take great care, guys. Bye. Bye.